Welcome again to the Global Arab Business Meeting 2012 here in Rasselheimer. I think it was a great start last night. Great start of uh, investors, friends, supporters coming here to Rasselheimer for this Global Arab Business Meeting uh, to rebuild our economies. When you look around in the world, you'll see that the world is still in crisis. Um, a deep crisis in Europe, a crisis uh, in the US, and of course everybody is affected. Uh, as we live in the times of globalization. And what we will do um, this morning is to reflect a little bit on what will happen in the next um, six to 12 months from an economic point of view and to yes, see sir. what are um, the chances, opportunities for recovery, for investment, and uh, to rebuild our economies. I'm very glad to introduce you this very eminent panel this morning on this opening plenary. To my right, to your left, uh, uh, Mr. Yusuf Ali, the Managing Director of the MK Group, based in Abu Dhabi in the UAE. Ms. Uh, Sarah Ismail Mohamed, the CEO of um, Al Bashaya Investment Company, uh, joining us this morning. To my left, um, to your right, Samir Brico, the CEO of Amec, based in London. And um, you are uh, an old supporter of this Global Arab Business Meeting coming here for the second time. Um, then we have um, Mr. Selim El Sir, the CEO of Rotana Group uh, in uh, the UAE, and you're one of the co-founders um, of this leading hotel chain here in the Arab world. And uh, joining us um, from Cairo, from uh, Egypt, Sheriff El Gabali, the chairman of Polyserve Fertilizer and Chemical Group. And maybe let me ask uh, you and try to start with you, uh, Sheriff, if I may, as uh, you come from Cairo, <coughs> and we all know that um, uh, the troubles um, in the region somehow started um, in Egypt. Uh, and when you watch uh, the news these days, um, of course, Egypt is again very much in the news. And maybe you can share your insights on what's happening right <coughs> now in Cairo and also providing your insights on uh, the economic forecast uh, for the next 6 to 12 months. Okay. Thank you, Frank. The Highness, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm very happy to be here in this uh, uh, forum. Well, uh, of course, Egypt is not started Egypt, actually started in Tunisia, so <laughs> Egypt was the second. But of course, Egypt, because of its size and, uh, and uh, you know, the role it plays in the Middle East and the Arab world, of course, has great impact. Uh, of course, I mean, the revolution in Egypt is about two years old now, next January. And of course, if you look at the economy of Egypt, of course, it has deteriorated substantially in those two years. I mean, the GDP growth this year is expected to be 1.7%, against an optimistic uh, forecast of 